Hepatitis C is actually a systemic infection that has both hepatic and non-hepatic or extra-hepatic manifestation. Of course, the clinical hepatic manifestation of hepatitis C is well, uh, well known, cirrhosis and liver cancer. The non-hepatics are less well recognized. And there are a number of other things that, that are associated with hepatitis C, including something called mixed type 2 cryoglobinemia. But there is a extra-hepatic manifestation of hepatitis C, which is actually chronic fatigue. Fatigue that, that, that can actually be quite impactful on patients' lives, quality of life, but also will have economic consequences. The most important one of that is that fatigue can drive uh, work productivity impairment. We looked at the work productivity questionnaire that was obtained during clinical trial of sofosbuvir and ladaspivir, which is a single pill, the fixed dose regimen, during ion 1, 2, and 3 clinical trials. And we showed that at the end of treatment, when you actually achieve sustained biologic response, you get improvement of work productivity, especially what's called presenteeism aspect of work productivity. We modeled how much of this work productivity impairment related to hepatitis C impacts the society, and we included United States as well as five European countries, five EU, that includes United Kingdom, France, Germany, Spain, and Italy. And then if you cure hepatitis C, how much savings will you have from, from, from uh, the, the uh, improvement in work productivity? So the bottom line is that hepatitis C infection has a, ma a major, a major economic impact, about $7 billion in the United States. And by curing hepatitis C and by improving the work productivity of patients with hepatitis C, in the United States you can save about $2.7 billion per year from work productivity improvement. And if you actually look at five EU countries, you will actually gain another half a billion euros from, the United, from those five EU countries by curing hepatitis C. So when you're looking at hepatitis C, it's important to remember it's, a, it's, an, it's, a, it's the most common cause of, of liver cancer and end stage liver disease, but it also has societal impact, economic impact, and patient reported outcome. And when you're treating, not only you're gonna get the clinical benefit, but also the other additional benefits that you get by curing these patients. Although we have great uh, regimens, there is a uh, debate going on right now about how fast you should give these regimens to patients and who should you, should you actually give it to because of the cost associated with these regimens. What, what I am actually recommending is that when you actually look at the total impact of this disease and look at the total benefit of cure, that these regimens are good for patients and good for the society. So in my view, it's really about getting all these great drugs to the patients as soon as you can. The other side of the argument is slowly rec you know, recognizing the fact that this is an important disease that have multiple different facets. Both the policymakers as well as the payers are recognizing more and more. And I think there are still debates going on about how to treat and whom to treat. However, I'm hoping that over the next year or so that these debates would be resolved in favor of patients so all patients with hepatitis C who need treatment get access to this treatment without any barriers. Five years ago, I wouldn't have imagined where we are today. I mean, it, literally, I could not have imagined. These are miraculous drugs that, that have been developed over the past three years. Now we are at the, at an era that we can actually eliminate technically eliminate hepatitis C from at least uh, a, a large portion of this world. And I think this is the opportunity we need to focus on. I think paying for it at the end of the day is going to be an issue, but it is absolutely miraculous that we have drugs, not just soften LDV, but there are a number of other drugs that are actually currently in the market or coming down the pike that we cure this, this virus without a lot of side effects and we can eliminate this virus uh, for good. I think five years from now we'll be in a place where we'll have multiple regimens. Drugs will be, because of the competition, will be a bit, a bit more affordable. And that I hope 
where we will be will, will be the, to have access to, the, to these drugs for all of our patients, not just a segment of our patients.